Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video you're going to see me build a homemade DIY water-cooled laptop cooler. So basically I've got the pipes here going round and then they go into this tank which should be filled full of water. Now the idea is this water is going to cool these pipes down so they're ice cold. Now after that, these fans are going to blow that ice cold air up into the laptop and then I'm going to do a load of bench tests to see if it makes a difference. And I've actually bought this cool little gadget where I can sort of measure temperatures. So I'm going to try and do like some befores and afters as well of temperature. So uh, I've done the full video of me building all this. I'll put that in. Um, if you want to skip to the results, I'll put like a timestamp in so you guys know when you can. But it was pretty cool building this, so it might be worth watching if you guys are wanting to do something similar. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and we'll see if it makes a difference. Okay, so the plan is to turn this stuff into this stuff using this little pipe. I've folded the copper around. So this is going to be all water cooled and hopefully keep the laptop cooler. All I'm going to do now is try and put like this piece here to make it stronger using this bow top and some solder. This is like plumber's solder. So I'm going to try and connect these together. Okay, so I had a change of plans. Originally I was going to go with that, but I've decided to do a different version and this is the version I've got. So I've got my original cooling pad and I've just fed it along here. I think this way is a lot neater and a bit more compact whereas this was is a bit too big basically. So that's gone. I'm gonna just run this round and then I've got this as my water tank which is just some bit of metal I found in the workshop but I'm gonna put a plate on uh, the bottom and then it's gonna be filled with water and I'm going to have my little pump in the middle and maybe some spiral copper so it can cool down in the water. So for this to be my water tank, I need one of the tops or bottoms blocked off. So got this piece of metal, cut it out, made a circle. So then I'm going to weld that onto there. All the welds are done, so it's a proper little container now. And I've just made this coil. So what I'm going to do is, from the cooler, the water's going to go in here, round the coil, which will be in the water, which should cool it down. And then I have a, the little pump in the mid, in the middle, which will pump the cool water out, and then to the other connection on the uh, cooler. So that's basically how it's going to work. Now, just need to get a couple more pipes to connect them two together and then give it a test. Oh, I might give this a paint as well. All right, so I've nearly got the system fully sorted. These copper pipes are now connected with these little pipes here to the tank. And what the coil is going to do is when the hot water comes in and goes around this coil, while it's sat in the water, it's going to cool. And at the end, it will come out of that little hole there. And what I've got is this little pump here. Now, this was a pump. I think it's meant for like a fish tank or something. It's USB powered, sucks water in through the bottom there and then out of that pipe there. So I'm gonna sit that in the bottom of there and I'm gonna connect the pipe to here, which will pump the cold water back in through and round the coil. Now, the idea is that these pipes are gonna be pretty cold, which will blow even colder air up into the laptop and hopefully making the laptop perform even better. So I'm going to do a load of benchmark tests just to see how well it's going to perform. I don't know yet because it's a bit of a DIY homemade kit, but we're going to find out and uh, hopefully it works well. Okay, so I've half filled it with water and that little pipe's just sticking out. So the reason I'm doing that is I'm going to plug it in and then hopefully I should start to see water coming out of that. So there's going to be a lot of air in these pipes and in that coil, so here goes. Two hours later. 
Oh, there we go. Water's coming out. It works. Okay, so obviously there's a lot of air in these, so it's taking a while to come out, but water's coming out. Not very fast, but... Oh no, it's coming out all right. Okay, so all the lines are now full of water, and this here, the pipes are actually ice cold. Like, really cold. I'm gonna try and get, I don't actually have a thermometer, but I want to get one just to show you guys how cold that actually is. But it's working really well. I need to put a lot more water in here because it's sucked in, obviously, enough water to fill all of these pipes and that coil. Okay, so I've got my little gadget, and this is without any water. I just want to see the temperature of this stuff. It's got a little laser there. So, what? 20 degrees. Let's just try somewhere a bit different. 21. 21 again okay so let's just go with 21 because that's 20.9 so that's 21 degrees with no water in with these fans on now i'm going to fill up with water start the pump see what temperature we get okay so the tank is full of water and it's pumping around the temperature of the tank 11 degrees so that's 10 degrees cooler than it was before. Now the pipes, 14 degrees. 15 there. Uh, let's try somewhere a bit further. 15 on the dot. 15 again. So we're looking six degrees cooler just in these pipes and 10 degrees cooler in the actual tank of water so eventually it would cool down a bit further but obviously the laptop being hot on it will counteract that so we know it works and it cools down these pipes and the air that comes off this feels like air con in your car it is actually really cool so now it's the moment of truth will that make that run better let's find out Right guys, the results are in and it actually worked a lot better than I thought. Thanks to this tool, I could measure the physical temperatures of the cooling system stuff. And from the tank to those pipes, it was like 11 degrees cooler. And when I did the benchmarks, it actually showed a lot. So I'll, I'll put it up so you guys can see, but it was 18 degrees cooler, which is a lot. 18 degrees cooler using this cooling system I've made. Uh, we got better FPS uh, and we got a better overall score. So it worked. I can't be happier. I mean, it worked better than I thought it was going to do. And overall, this stuff hasn't really cost me anything. I bought the cooler a few, well, about a year ago now. I think it was about 15 quid. The brake pipe stuff I found laying around in my workshop as well as the metal cylinder I made and welded. So... And the little fish tank pump was like eight quid. So I think you could probably get all this sort of done for like 25 quid if you wanted. But it was fun building it all and it worked. So that's awesome. So that's going to be about it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more laptop stuff, subscribe to the channel because I've got more coming. And I've already done a shed load. But I enjoy it, so I'm going to carry on. Thanks for watching guys, look after yourselves, I will see you in the next video.